Keto Kitchen Essentials. My Keto Kitchen Essentials. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm so cheesy. Keto Kitchen Essentials. Let's talk about them. I'm kind of just going to go over my favorite Keto Kitchen Essentials. I set some out here and then I'll kind of walk you around my kitchen and show you the rest of them. Should have just done that. These were some heavy guys to move all over here. They really were. Took a lot of work. My Instant Pot. If y'all have watched me for more than a minute, you know I'm in love with my Instant Pot, y'all. I can make anything in here so fast at least one time a week generally i use it multiple times a week it is just so so easy so so handy my favorite thing for sure had to start with that one my KitchenAid. it has been used the bowl is in the dishwasher i probably wouldn't have paid the money for it but i am so blessed to have it absolutely love it keto baking i use it all the time but it even will shred chicken that comes out of this plus i have attachments i have a pasta one i have one for vegetable spiralizing for like zucchini noodles any kind of vegetable i love this attachment piece for that that my the ugh, the veggie spiraler is really one of my favorite things too then we come to the blender my ninja blender and it really does the job i can make any kind of smoothie i want in it and not have any kind of chunks of any sort i love that it has this but it also came with two of this size cup so you can pulse your smoothies right in this if you're making single serve. And I love that. It comes with two of these. I know some of them have food processors as a part of it, but I didn't need that because right here, right here, this is my Cuisinart. And I use the heck out of this thing too. I use this every week pretty much too. It shreds, it dices, it purees stuff up. I love to do my fresh cheese in this. The fresh cheese without the modified, without any corn starches or potato starches or anything like that. So I do cheese in this a lot. I also grind up my pork rinds in here to use for breading. Those are probably the two things I use it the most for. But I also sometimes use it when I'm doing a large vegetable prep. And I'll use it to dice everything so that it just goes way faster. Like if you're doing a bunch of onions or a bunch of celery, whatever. You process it through here and then you put it in the individual baggies. You can use a food saver. And then you freeze everything. These are the big mama jamas. That's not a word, is it? I don't know. What am I trying to say, y'all? Whatever, these are the big guys. These are the heavy hitters. I don't know why I thought I should put them all in one place to show you, because man, these are heavy. So let me carry you around the rest of the kitchen and show you the other things. Y'all, I'm so glad you're here. I'd love for you to join my little corner of YouTube. I post at least two to three times a week updates about my weight loss journey. We do cook with me's. I do what I eat Wednesdays. All things keto, all things weight loss related. Pretty much everything falls into those categories. Next, my food scale. I use this all the time. I measure pretty much everything that I eat. I just put my dish on here, zero it out, and then put the food in. I love my food scale. This one has like codes that you can put in for nutrition facts. I have never once used that feature. I don't need that feature. This one just came from Target. It was less than $20. Probably can get cheaper than that if you don't get this thing. I'd rather just measure it out and put it in my app. My Chronometer app, I would definitely consider one of my favorite keto kitchen essentials also. I absolutely love Chronometer. I love that it not only measures your macros, but your micronutrients too. So it lets you know how much of your vitamins and your minerals you're getting from what. You can just really dive deep into it and find out so much information besides just the plain macros, but it's great for that too. I absolutely love Chronometer, y'all. Baking sheets. I have a bunch of these baking sheets and a few of these cookie sheets, but I like to put the cookie sheet on top of this. So if I'm baking chicken fingers, even bacon can go on this and the fat drips underneath it and it keeps what's on top crispier. Underneath, I'll put like Brussels sprouts, shredded up Brussels sprouts, and on top I'll put the bacon and then the Brussels sprouts cook in the bacon grease. Yeah, yum. So I have a bunch of these. I don't want to pull this guy out, y'all. So this is my food saver. This is what I use to seal off foods in order to freeze them so they don't get freezer burn. We use this all the time. When we buy meat in bulk or to freeze veggies, anything I want to freeze longer than like a few days, I will food save it. It's basically like a vacuum thing. And then 
one day if I ever get a sous vide, I will have this uh, vacuum seal things before I sous vide them. The next keto essential, I know y'all aren't surprised to see this section. This is my coffee bar. We've got our toaster over there, which I really never use. The kids use that. But I've got my coffee bar set up. This is definitely a keto essential for me. This is espresso. It's by the brand Nespresso, and it makes really nice frothed like cappuccinos and lattes. This section here froths up your milk, and then it adds it through the machine. So you can fully make a latte or a cappuccino. Then my regular Keurig. Absolutely love this baby. Makes my coffee for me every morning. So thankful for it. I'm almost embarrassed to show y'all this. It's really, really dirty. It really needs to be cleaned. The kids have been helping me cook and they're even messier than I am and I'm plenty messy. So, my stove top. I absolutely love having a gas stove top. It has six burners. I generally leave this on at all times. This is my cast iron griddle. If you flip it over, it's a grill pan on the other side. We use this on the daily pretty much for quesadillas or anything you want to griddle, pancakes. It's really heavy, so I just leave it there. If you are designing a new kitchen or need a new stove top, I totally recommend splurging on this because you will get so much use out of it and it's so, so much nicer to have gas, y'all. My next keto essential is definitely my knives. I use this one. This is my knife sharpener, which I use very, very often to keep these nice and sharp. And then this is my very favorite knife. I don't have a whole lot of other knives since we had our house fire. I'm still slowly accumulating because knives are a little pricey, but I use these all the time. I don't know what I would do without my super, super sharp knives. And then those are more like cheese knives, actually. This is my main pan probably that I use more than anything else for browning things. It's just a really, really nice size. I usually do at least two pounds of ground beef at a time and this will do that. This is just your basic Calphalon pan. It's non-stick. Obviously some people have used things on it that should not have been, but still in pretty good shape overall. One more thing have this drawer down here of the rest of my what I would consider my everyday essential pans. This Le Creuset is amazing. It is cast iron and enamel coated so it has such a good cooking surface. It's great for on top of the stove. It's great to brace things in the oven. I move things from the stove top to the oven with this. Love this. And then down there is just a plain cheapo pan from TJ Maxx that I use for making eggs. I use this all the time. This strainer is really, really fine. It is great for straining out things. Like if you make a stock, I use this to strain out all of the stuff from the stock. I have two drawers of Tupperware. It's all glass except for these little small containers that I bought right post-op surgery. But I like to use these glass Pyrex. I have a drawer of these circular ones and I have one more drawer of these. I love to do meal prepping and these are essential for me. These Pyrex, they're glass and they have tops. You can cook in them, you can warm in the microwave with them. They are essential for me for my keto batch cooking life. That is my kitchen keto essential. Obviously I have more stuff in my kitchen. I wasn't gonna show you every tiny little thing. I wanted to really share what my favorite keto essentials are. So those are the things that I use day in, day out. I hope that was helpful. I hope y'all have a great rest of the day. Love you, friends.